Holy crap, container number three already sold out and there's only 54 in stock of container number two. These things are selling out pretty fast. Hey guys, I'm just more and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming play to earn NFC game drunk robot. But before that, if you like anything about crypto, if you like play to earn, if you like NFC games then hit the subscribe button and join this family. So first I want to talk about the reasons why I think Drunk Robots has potential and why I would invest in it. And then if you're still interested, I would continue watching the video as, I, as I'm gonna break down some more information about Drunk Robots so you can really learn what this game is. So first reason why I would invest in Drunk Robots is because of their marketing. They are partnering with Feraland. And if you don't know what Feraland is, it's another NFT game that's pretty popular right now. They have around 91K followers. So they just partnered with them and this just got announced recently. And then after that got announced, their sales actually have started to pick up and it's also getting more awareness. So Junk Robots is getting more popular by the day just because they're starting to partner up with different games. They're starting to reach out and actually spread news about their game. If we look at their Twitter, they have 27.5K followers. Now, a week ago, they were at the low thousand. So they're doing an excellent job, an excellent, excellent job with growing their community. They're also listed on the DAP website as one of the three upcoming Gamify projects to watch. Their marketing is splendid, really good. I commend them on their marketing. Second reason is because their sales are also doing good. Container number three sold out a couple days ago and these, the sale just happened, I think around a week, give or take. So they just started sales about a week ago and container number three is already sold out and container number two is about to sell out soon there's only 54 in stock left now i reloaded this page like a minute ago like maybe five minutes ago and from that reload it was at 58 before five minutes later reloaded again now it's at 54 so the sales are really happening fast i am hoping that you watch this video and there's still some container twos number left container two twos left just because it's a way better deal than container number one of course, the best deal was container number three, but they're sold out now. These were being sold for three BNB, and now the lowest person selling it is six BNB, so double of how much it was before. As for me, how much have I invested in the game? I currently have two container number threes, and I'm planning to buy maybe one or two more containers, and I think I'll be good. Now, how much is three BNB is around... 1,381 so that's how much the container number three was worth and then 1.5 BNB so $690 that's how much container number two is worth right now now look it's 53 53 left now the third reason is because how much money you could get on this game based on their calculations I don't know how they calculated it but they say a good and decent player can earn around 400 to a thousand dollars per month now if you're a top player in the top game you can earn higher than five thousand dollars per month so if you really get into this game, really invest a good amount in this game, and you're part of a top gang, you could expect $5,000 per month, which is insane, insane, insane. Now that's basically all the reasons why I would invest in the game. Of course, there's other reasons too, but those are the three main ones. So now let's actually get into what Drunk Robots is. So what is it? It's a play to earn game powered by Liquidifty.io team and built on top of Binance Smart Chain. And the launch is planned to be September 2021, so very soon. Now your main mission in Drunk Robots is to survive and seize the city absorbed by drunk junkie robots whose only interest are metal, beer, and violence. Collect the robots, guns, and other street garbage to increase your street credibility. Rob stores and banks, participate in drunk races, join dance battles, and beat the shit out of your rivals. Create your own gang or join the one and the more powerful mobs will rule the city. You can also own your small land and farm. Even drunk mad robots want to have their own hideout where they can brew some metal to keep themselves alive. So that's just a quick, quick introduction. Now the story. Um, I don't want to make the video too long, so you can check out the story yourself. I'll have the link down in the description below of this white paper of the website. So if you really want to check their story out, you can check it there. They do have lore, and I think that um, they've been pumping out some new storylines, some new lore every now and then whenever they unveil a new robot on their Twitter. As for the roadmap, lots of things are coming in September, which is literally going to be like tomorrow if you're watching the video now. So September is coming up very, very soon. Now, what's going to happen then? A player's page. In this page, you can see your robots, their characteristics, rarity, replenish energy, and health. There's also going to be the first minigame that will allow the best players to get unique and rare in-game items. Next, 
the in-game store. I'm guessing that's where you could buy some of these items and also a secondary marketplace where you could sell your robot and other NFTs. Now in October, that's when some of the PVE functions are coming out like the store and bank robberies and gangs as well, which I'm very excited for. November gang raiding and wars. So a little bit more gameplay slash features for the gangs. And then November is farming. Now the sale is already happening now. Now you could purchase container number one and container number two. Container number three is sold out now, but basically container number one, you just get one robot for 0.6 BNB. Container number two, you get three robots and one rare weapon. So this, this one is definitely more worth it. And there's only gonna be 1,101 Genesis robots in total and six type of different robots with different characteristics, abilities, appearances, and native weapon but each robot will have a unique set of characteristics and a unique appearance. The containers will be open according to the fair launch principle so no one knows what type of robot they're gonna get. No matter which container you bought, you have the ability slash chance to get an ordinary robot or a super rare one. After opening, all the containers will be used as farming units for your robot. Bigger containers will farm more. And containers are gonna open once 8,888 robots are sold. So this is the sales roadmap right now. And once 2,222 robots are sold, you're gonna learn more about the lost machine, so its inhabitants and their fates. So you're gonna just learn more information about robots and some lore. Once 4,444 are sold, they're gonna do a 20 robot giveaway to 20 random robot owners. Once 6,666 robots are sold, that's when a mystery quest with a legendary gun as a reward will occur. And once 8,888 robots are sold, robots are ready for deployment. Now you can open your container and check out what kind of robot you got. So this is when you can actually unveil your container and check out what rarity your robot is. After 10,000 robots are sold, that's when the secondary market is going to open and you can exchange your dope robots. Now the in-game token. There are two in-game tokens, LQT and MTL, each with their own functions. MTL will be required for shopping, health recovery, missions, and so on. All rewards for successfully completing mini games and farming will also be paid in MTL. So when you're playing the game, you're gonna be earning MTL and you're also gonna be spending MTL to also play the game. So to do a mission, you spend MTL, and then after the mission or after the mini game, you'll be paid with MTL. Now what is LQT? This is the main currency in the secondary market. It can also be used for some other actions like staking. And this is required for improving the characteristics of your robot. So each one has its own functions. MTL, mainly for playing the game and for rewards. LQT, for purchasing robots in the secondary market and to improve your robots. LQT is available to buy now and you could just sw swap that in uh, pancake swap. As for MTL, it is still under construction, so it is not out yet. If you really wanted, you could buy LQT right now. Now the fun stuff, the game processes, which will launch in fall. So as I said before, there are six different type of robots and there are different rarities with them. Common, rare, epic, and legendary. Legendary being the most rare out of all of them. You have power, zero to 100, intelligence, speed, stamina, and dope. So these are just characteristics of the robot. And one thing that I think is a little bit more unknown is dope. And this is a parameter that is enhanced by cool accessories like a boombox or stereo glasses. All, ex all the characteristics can be increased with the help of accessories. You cannot change only the basic external characteristics while you can change clothes. So what this is basically saying is that accessories, clothes, all of that stuff can increase your different characteristics. So maybe there's some glasses that increase your power, some something, some shoes that increase your speed, stuff like that. But one thing you cannot change is the external characteristics that your robot already has, like the color and the shape of the robot. But you could change the clothes. Now, there are characteristics that need to be maintained and cannot be increased through accessories and that is your health, energy, and rating. Now for your health, I'm guessing you could lose some health whenever you play mini games or battles but you could restore this through the use of metal. Energy, spent in the same way as health but this one's restored over time. If the robot owns a home, it recovers faster and there's not much information on the home thing I haven't seen. And rating, this is your street credibility. It rises after successful robberies, raids, victories and battles, and so on. If you behave smoothly, your rating rises. So this is basically your rank. So the better you are, you are at the game, the higher your rating. Now land and farming. So the city is divided into districts and the districts are divided into lots of different sizes. 
The land can be bought or captured. Then you can start brewing metal, the local drink that keeps robots alive and active. But watch out, your neighbors are not always friendly and your territory may be liked by someone else. So from reading this, I'm gonna guess that if you own land, if you own a farm, then other people can actually attack it and capture it. Now the mini games, these are the different game modes that you can play with your robot. There's the bank robbery, store robbery, fight club, junk races, and dance battles. So you need to spend MTL. So for bank robberies, it is a serious business. In order to rob it, you're going to need at least three robots with a rating of 100 plus, at least one gun for three, and masks that hide their faces. Each trip to the bank takes up energy and health. If you fail, you simply lose your health and return to your hideout in disgrace. If you succeed, you get a mo monetary reward. The better armed and the higher the rating of the characters, the greater the chance of success. Now, what's a store robbery? Basically, the smaller version of a bank robbery. Rating doesn't matter. If you want to, you can go alone without a weapon. The probability of success will be small, but it will still be there if you don't if you don't have a weapon. You can just discreetly take out a can or two of metal under your shirt. Un under your shirt. In the same way, if you fail, you simply lose health and energy. If you succeed, you get a reward. So bank robberies, these require a little a little more robots and NFTs. Like you need guns, masks, all of that. Store robberies, very simple, and you only need your robot. Now what's a fight club? It's basically player versus player, and you're betting, and the winner takes all. Drunk races is similar to fight clubs, but this one is just racing. You bet on whether you're gonna be faster than your opponent, and then the winner takes all. Again, dance battle, it's another thing, I'm guessing player versus player, but in this, the higher your dope stat, the better chance of winning. Another big part of the game is gang, and these are basically clans of the game. Now there could be an unlimited number of gangs, and the gangs are created by users themselves. So if you're investing in this game, you could create a gang. You really want to, but you need a reputation and your character rating must be at least 500 or higher. The higher your rating, the more people can be in your gang. Now these are just a list of things that happen once you create a gang. One thing that I think is interesting is a membership fee. You basically need to pay money to join a gang. And I'm guessing to create a gang, you also need to pay money. You can also set up requirements and you have an, a uniform. Now the goal is to create the largest gang to control most of the city. The city consists of five districts. Each of the districts is controlled by one of the gangs. Districts are graded in size and wealth. The coolest gang owns the richest neighborhood. What does control over an area give? It's simple. It gives you MTL. All members of the leader gang receive a daily payment in the form of metal. So if you're in a really good gang and it owns like at least one district, then you're just passively going to earn metal or MTL. And the amount of MTL that gang gets is distributed to all the gang members. Remember, what can you buy with MTL? It's payment for doing missions and you could get basically in-game items. You could exchange MTL for some in-game items. Now the sharpness and strength of the game is gang is formed based on the total rating, strength, speed, and so on of its members. So if you're really trying to make a top gang, you also want all the members to have good ratings and characteristics. One thing to note though is that once a young gang reaches your level, they can claim your land. You'll have to actually fight them. So this is one thing that I'm really, really excited about, which is gangs. It's going to be kind of gang battles and just fighting over the territory. I think that's really cool. Now, guns and clothes. Now, guns and other items are dropped at the local market, which is the official store, and you can buy them with MTL. There could be different types of guns, but rarities with it. So let's say there's Desert Eagles, there's only 100 of them, but there's only 5 AK-47s. So of course the AK-47 is going to be a more rare weapon. Now clothes and guns not only increase your characteristics, but also increase the chance of a successful robbery or raid. So you want to stock up on good weapons, good clothes, just so you're more successful in your raids. Now there are also some items that can increase the speed at which you recover your energy. It doesn't increase your overall energy, but it just speeds up your energy recovery. Now, we've already talked about the ROI, but basically, going over it again, it's $400 to $1,000 per month for a decent player, and then if you're a top player, $5,000 per month or higher. That's basically the game, and you know, if you really are interested, I would suggest buying one of those container number twos. But if you're a tight on budget, I would suggest container number one. Here, I'm going to reload this and let's see how many container number twos are left. Right now it says 53, but let's, let's reload this. 50. So there's 50 left now. So yeah, these are kind of selling out pretty fast. I'm going to guess in a, maybe like a day or two after this video is posted, this is going to be gone. So 
those people that have their notifications on or are just watching this video early, you're really lucky because you still have a chance to get container number two. As for keeping yourself updated on the game, I suggest following their Twitter and joining their Discord. Those are the main places where they do their announcements. Another place to do it is in their Medium, but they basically just put like really large announcements on here. So I would really just head over to Twitter and Discord because that's where they do all of their announcements. And yeah, I'll have that down in the description below. So that's about it about Drunk Robots. If you want me to get into the lore of it, I might make a separate video. Just comment it down and I'll talk about some of the robot stories and just check out like all these other things here. Actually, let's look at this first. So this is basically kind of a visual of what it's going to look like. Like your rarity, your power, your intelligence, your stamina. And these are some of the different robots that you can get. So this is just kind of like a cleaner version of what their white paper was. But yeah, the artwork just looks awesome. So that's about it now. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.